All right, while you guys were gone, we struggled a little bit to get the tub in. So I don't know if you remember, all this drywall was once here, but uh, we actually had to remove the drywall here um, so that the tub would fit in. Same thing over here. We actually removed quite a bit of material over on the sidewall just so that we could fit. We're basically, this is an exact fit. So um, it's a little bit tight in there. Um, so this is our dry fit. Uh, and really why we're doing this is so that we can test to make sure that the tub can be level. Um, and so the back here is level right now. which is a good starting point. Um, and so what I've done is I took a marker and marked that line. Um, and we're gonna use this mark later um, to come back and attach some boards to it uh, to support the tub. And so what we're gonna work on now is our front sides. And um, we're actually a little bit uh, out of level now um, on this side. So this side needs to come up a hair and then this back side over here is almost good. Um, actually, yeah, it's pretty much good there. So it's pretty much the only side that is not working is this side right here. So we need to elevate this side a little bit more um, and then get it level. And then what we'll do is we'll mark the top of that um, and then we'll take the tub back out. Um, one thing I'm gonna do while I'm here is we have a, a countersink bit. Um, and what this is used for is it'll make a little divot for our screws to go in. And so, um, as you can see, there's a little flange right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little hole. Um, eventually we'll put a screw in there. And technically the screws are not meant to hold the entire weight of the tub. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a mortar bed down here. The mortar will actually be holding most of it, um, the weight, the tub, um, and the screws, that'll just hold it onto the wall and keep it from moving. So um, you shouldn't, uh, unless your tub says so, you shouldn't be installing the tub just with screws. You're gonna need to do a mortar bed or something. And so your directions could be different, um, but basically follow the directions of whatever tub you're gonna use. And so um, I could do this later, but since the tub's here, I'm gonna mark it um, with this. And that way, when I go to put the screws in to hold it still, it'll be um, a little bit easier. I'll just be able to pop the screw in. So I'm gonna do it a little bit closer to the top of the flange and my sheetrock is gonna come right to the top of this and then my tile is actually gonna come over top of it. So um, I don't have to worry about this screw being shown, um, but I'm using a countersink bit so the screw or nail won't sit out um, from here and interfere with the tile. So as you can see, that just made a little indentation and my screw is gonna be able to fit right in here. I'm just gonna get zoomed up in there. Rolling. Okay, um, now we're about to install our level stringers. And so um, basically this is a one by four, one by three that is gonna be attached um, to the side of the framing here. And so at first thought, it might seem like this is something that can support the tub, um, but technically this is not supporting the tub. This is here so that when we pour the mortar down here and set our tub in, this is a level line and this will rest um, exactly level um, instead of sinking farther into the mortar. That mortar is going to be that actual support bed. And so if you remember, we just got done marking the level line of the top of the tub. So that's this right here. Um, but on the underside, that's where these one by fours need to go. So um, I took a measurement and it's basically going to be an inch and a quarter lower to get underneath this tub right here. Um, and so I've gone around and I've marked an inch and a quarter lower on all of my lines except for this one. So I'm just gonna come right here, come to my line, and go inch and a quarter lower. Um, so now when I install this uh, one by four here, 
it will actually be lower um, than this top deck and it'll be able to support the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna install the back one here first and then work my way forward. So I'm just gonna use some screws, some deck screws because they have some corrosion resistance. And if at all possible, um, whenever working in bathrooms, I typically like to install treated material. It's just, if we put it on the outdoors when it rains every other day, we're taking showers two, three times a day, and this area could be really wet. And so it's just kind of that extra added precaution. Um, if you think about it, um, just to use treated material in your bathroom. So I'm gonna line up with my lines and just screw this in. And then afterwards, I'm going to check with the level to make sure we are still good to go. Okay, grab my level, and we are good. Finish it off. All right. Now I'm going to come around to this side and install this one right here. So I'm just gonna meet up with this one right here and then get on my line right there. Now to the front. Okay. Um, do now is we're going to install the drain for the tub while, while we're here, while it's accessible. Um, then we're going to put our mortar bed in and then we're going to set the tub in. Okay, so uh, we just finished uh, installing the drain for our tub and so this is a step right before we actually move the tub in. Um, and so we talked about a mortar base that we need um, and that is actually what is gonna support the tub. So here we have unmodified thin set mortar. Um, we're gonna mix it up and then that is gonna be the bed for our tub. And so we took some measurements under the tub. We have some nice plywood underneath and so it's about two inches. So we're gonna start um, with, a, with a pretty big a uh, pile of mortar right in the middle, hopefully about two inches high. And then when we set the tub in, it'll level out a little bit more. Um, and then we will be able to, then our tub will sit there. Um, so uh, we're gonna start with mixing. I've already got the water in here. Uh, just follow the directions um, is the easiest way I can say. And then you can start modifying things. Um, if you think it's too wet, you can add more mortar. If you think it's too dry and it's tough to work, then you can add a little bit more water. But um, So I've started with uh, five quarts of water and then I've got one quart um, if I need to add it. So you would always wanna add more water later um, instead of getting too much water and having to add um, more mortar. So I'm gonna start with the whole bag. I'll pour about half of it in and then I'll mix it up. And so um, the best way to mix this, especially mixing a whole bag, would be with a mixer. Um, a mixing paddle that you can connect to a drill. Um, and what I always say is you can use a cordless uh, drill, um, but A, it's gonna be really tough on the battery. If you're doing other things, you're gonna need to charge batteries quite often. Um, this is also significantly heavier duty than um, just your regular old cordless. This is a hammer drill um, and it, it's, got, it's got quite a bit of power. So um, it also has the handle here, which helps with mixing, um, gives you just some more leverage. So I always suggest getting yourself a hammer drill, um, setting it on the regular mode um, and using this to mix up. So here we go. We're gonna add our mortar uh, a little bit at a time and then we'll slowly mix. about half the bag in there, a little bit less, and then we can start mixing. 
So if you can, hold the bucket. Now let's add a little bit more. I would suggest doing this outside, and um, we're in the garage here because it's cold outside, but um, it gets this dust out of your way, and it can be pretty messy. So you don't want to typically do this inside a building. So for this application, I like to do it a little bit thicker because um, it is going to be supporting the tub and I don't want it to get down on the subfloor and then just run everywhere. So I've done it a little bit thicker than might be normal. I basically held out a few cups of water. Um, so this will be something that's pretty thick um, because I don't want it to run all over the place. So we're going to come back. Um, the directions say that you should wait anywhere from two to five minutes and then kind of let things settle up and then come back, mix it real quick once more, and then we're ready to use it. The biggest thing with mixing mortar is not to mix too much. If we can't use all this, then it'll harden up and then we won't be able to use it at all. It'll get stuck in your bucket and it's a pain to clean out. So we'll be back um, and we'll be ready to put this in the tub area. Okay, so we've let it set up for about five minutes. We have our tub in the room. Uh, right now we're supporting it on blocks because remember, uh, we have our drain installed. So um, we don't wanna crush that. And so uh, before when we put the tub in, we almost just slid it right in. This time we're gonna have to slide it in and then place it down. So, um, because we wanna protect that drain. So just be careful to protect your drain at all times. Um, and so now with this mortar, I'm basically just gonna put a big pile right in the middle um, and then underneath our tub it's cast resin uh, with fiberglass and uh, there's plywood in there as well so the plywood is a flat surface that will sit against our mortar and so by putting it all in the middle um, and then squishing the tub down around it it'll basically squish out so I could spread it around evenly but that really doesn't get the point we want it to fill the cracks and nooks of the tub and then spread out and support it where it needs to support. So I'm basically gonna go with a big dab right here. Um, just be careful of this. You wouldn't wanna get it in here um, and drop down in there. A, it would be wasted, and B, who knows what's down there. Um, it could fall and any other holes like that. So try to get it in the middle. Um, if you were to err on one side or the other, I would err towards the back because um, then it could get pushed up against the wall or pushed up against this wall versus squirting out. So. I'm gonna get it out here. Like I said, I'm gonna be a little bit wary of the front here. Make sure we get it all. If your tub's bigger or smaller, you might need more or less mortar. Um, at this point, um, we should be level, we'll throw a level on it, but we're back up against the wall um, and all the way around we're connected to our leveling strips, so we should be good to go. Um, the only thing now to do is, um, as we pre-drilled these holes before, now we need to put in our screw um, just so that holds it in place. Like I said, that's not bearing most of the weight. Um, but that's just holding it there in place. So, okay, so off camera, we actually didn't have enough mortar in there. We were able to go check under the floor and we put a little camera up there and we noticed that um, we weren't getting full contact with a lot of the beds. So um, we went back in, uh, we put in a whole extra bucket of mortar um, and then set it back on the tub. So, um, because like I said, you want that to be resting on the mortar. You don't want it to be resting on the screws that we're gonna put in. You don't want it to be resting on the level area. 
because you're going to be standing directly in the tub and this tub can flex a little bit. So that mortar is going to take uh, all that flex out. So um, that's about it for now. Um, after this, we're going to do some sheetrock all the way around this. We're going to cut out these. We're going to cut out those. Um, if you're interested in learning how to do sheetrock, please take a look at our sheetrock video. Um, we have a whole playlist with a ton of sheetrock going all the way from hanging the sheetrock uh, to doing your first, second, third coat, and even sanding. Thanks for watching our video. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get updated on all our newest videos. Also, go ahead and click the links below so that you can uh, see our social media profiles as well as our website.